What's up, guys? Hey, uh, just want to show you guys my uh, 7x14 trailer and clothes that I got for my hauling my kayak around. So this is this is pretty sweet. You know, when I first got this, I was like, I don't know, is this is this going to be worth a lot of money to putz around with? But man, I'll tell you what, ever since I got it, I love it. I love it. Anyways, I'll give you a quick little rundown on, uh, on how I set it up. But uh, basically right there, as you can see, we've got a Hobie PA14360. Fits in here real nice, all the way up to the front of uh, my little cabinet that I built up there. The nose end just squeaks in up inside that little opening up there. and I'll show you that here in a minute. But basically starting on this end, what I did is I made my own rod holders. Basically just took some uh, inch and a half DWV and uh, cut them into sections. And I put some felt on the bottom in there and then that hole right there. I don't know if you can see that hole or not. Um, right there, that's where the screw goes in, holds it to the wall. Put the rod in there and then it slides down and down here. I got a little piece of three quarter inch PVC with some felt in it. And basically I turn it, as you can see, when I want to take it out, I straighten it out. I can pull the rod out and I'm hauling it. I turn it and uh, keep some stable in there. I've traveled all the way to Arkansas from Colorado, all the way to Texas, driving back and forth. I haven't had one rod fall out on me. It's been working pretty good, so pretty pleased with that. Um, here's the other side. And just the way it lays out for me being a right-hander, um, all my bait casting rods are on this side here, and all my spinning rods are over there. And basically the strap that you see right here, that just straps down over the kayak right here, holds it down for when I'm traveling. Um, here's my little bench that I had built. As you can see, there's a quick view of the nose of the kayak going inside that little opening. Um, that's basically, that used to be right there, that used to be my storage for my uh, for my boxes, for those type of boxes right there. Uh, I'm going to put a shelf in there and I'll rebuild it, so I'm going to store a bunch of 3,700 boxes inside there. But basically, a uh, hog trough mounted on the wall, this thing right here with the blue tape and all that, this is a line spooler. Um, you know, if I'm doing spinning reels, I can slide it on there. You'll see there's the shaft and the bolts. And, uh, you know, it comes off like that for the spinning. And if I'm doing a bait caster, I put the line in there, do my thing. I can pull it out and I can reel it back. So that's pretty cool. Little shelf that I had floating around. Just throw it up there to hold some of my stuff. Put a bunch of screws in the wall. This ain't nothing fancy by any means, but put some screws in the wall just to hang some different bags of bait. And then over here by the door, I got a paper towel holder. And a couple more storage areas right there. A couple right there, you got a couple chairs hanging out. And then uh, over here, some more storage. As you can see back there, is a spare tire. Hopefully, I don't ever need that. <laughs> Anyways, the door to go out, a little side door there. Here, what's cool about these travelers, these, this is a Lark brand. It's a 7x14 with the V, it gives it 16 feet from the from the back all the way to the nose but these are uh these trailers come standard with that i'm not even hooked up to my truck which is a real nice feature um if you're not hooked up like i am and i'm rigging up and i'm out here at night i don't have to worry about being plugged into the truck to get power to my uh to the lights in here so and then you can see there's a little tower right here my wife got me this thing um i didn't like it at first but I kind of like it now. It, it's it's screwed to the wall to the back, and then uh, I just got some screws, as you can see right here. I just got a screw in front of the drawer, so the drawer won't open unless the screw's taken out. Literally, turn it twice and the screw comes out. But um, that's been working great too. I mean, I drove all over the country and I haven't had a drawer pop open or a screw fall out. Just got to remember to put them in. But what's cool about this thing is I can see everything in the side of it. You know what I mean? I can tell that my bags and my toilet papers are in there. I can see that my battery for my power pole and some rags are in there. I've got some grippers and some other things in there, rod holders. There's my miscellaneous, like my glove box. And you can see I labeled it over here. Um, just miscellaneous stuff, everything. And then down there I've got lines and hooks. And then in there I've got buzz baits in this one right here. And that one right there, I got buzz baits and spinner bait boxes and stuff. So it's come in pretty handy. It's pretty cool. I actually like it. Um, this spot right here that you're seeing 
um, holds a plastic tote and it stacks up uh, three or four high. And then I just put a piece of bungee over, hooked on to down there, all right, with the knot in it, I pull it up and I hook it right on that hook and then it holds the, uh, holds the crates in. Once again, drove all the way to Texas, Arkansas, back and uh, haven't had one spill over yet. So it's been a good little setup. This little square right here with that bungee right there holds my battery box in right there. So that just lifts up, sits right in there, and then I bungee it down to that little eye hook right there. Here's my cart right next to the door with a garbage pail in it. Um, so that's pretty much my setup. Oh, here's another cool little feature. Um, once again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. It's the light that's in the back. So when you're pulling down to the ramps at night, right, and it's completely dark, for one, I can turn this on and it helps me unload and I can see inside, uh, or I can see what I'm doing, how close I am to the water, where the water is, gives me a little extra light. So this trailer has been awesome. I can't say enough about it. I know it's an expensive way to go. But if you guys can afford it, man, it is so nice. I sleep really well at night, stay in hotels. I don't have to worry. I mean, if someone's going to steal something at this point, they're going to have to, they're going to have to take the whole truck in the trailer. So, which has been known to happen. But anyways, it's a little better than just sticking that in the back of your truck and have to load it, unload it, put the seat in, put the seat out, take the drive, get your rods, bring them in the room. I mean, I can't say enough about seven by fourteen Lark trailer. It's been great. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to go out and get something pretty cool because I love kayaking. It's a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed and uh, post something. Show me what you guys got. Let me see your guys' setup. I enjoy looking at it and all the different ideas. All right, guys. Later.